question, though, that that provokes for me is, has the talent of international players passed that of U.S. players? Because, so you guys know, the Rising Stars Challenge during All-Star Weekend, that used to feature Team USA versus Team World in an exhibition yeah. game. Yeah. So we've, if we had a hypothetical game between the top foreign-born players and the top American players, I want to know who you guys think would win. Let's just show you what the rosters could look like here. You can see Curry, James, Durant, t- starters, USA, World, Murray, Doncic, Giannis. And then the bench, uh, I think the U.S.'s bench might be a yeah. little bit deeper. But but this is interesting here. The Americans, Ja, Booker, Harden, Dame, world team, they have plenty of size. Who would you take, Richard? Where's Carl Anthony Towns born? Where's Carl Anthony Towns? Oh, oh. he's born in the, um, the islands. The, the Dominican. I did not know that. But, hey, congratulations. Who am I taking? I'm taking the U.S. A. All the time, every day. I'm not even trying to rhyme. Look, at the end of the day, if you're talking about the world, the world is getting better. Like, the teams are getting better. The players are getting better. You've seen the growth of the game. We've talked about it. That's why basketball is such an amazing sport, because it's played all around the world by anybody. But if you're talking about the best players, you still got Steph Curry, reigning finals MVP. You got LeBron James. You got Kevin Durant. You got so much talent and then the depth. But it is coming. This is great for the game of basketball. USA basketball got about 10, 15 more years left of dominance. In my, in my opinion, then they, kinda, then they get to get to the field. Yes, because our depth is always going to be greater, in my opinion, than an individual country. Oh, then okay. Sylvania, then Greece. Then, then the, our depth will be greater than those countries, Spain. But... Their top players could still be on those other teams. Okay, Brian. Yeah, so, I mean, I know this isn't a fun answer, but the team that's playing for their country is always going to be better than an all-star team. So Mm. I would say the U.S. would win also. It's deeper. Richard, I don't think it's going to take 10 or 15 years. In the Olympics last summer in Tokyo, the Australians were this close to getting the, the Americans, and not because the Americans weren't playing well. The Australians were just I've great. Been there, Kevin I've been Durant there before, Brian. Bailed them out. And, I've been there before. Uh, yeah, 20 years ago. Yeah. T- 20 years ago. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, right. But anyway, um, the Americans got a problem with the big men. Uh. So over the, over the last decade, we have a bunch of Americans who are naturalized in other countries so that they can play for the national teams. Right. We need to start naturalizing some of these guys to be Americans. DeAndre Ayton, how would you like to be an American citizen? Because the best big men in the world are international players, and Carl Anthony Towns played for the Dominican Republic right. when he was a teenager, so he is an eligible. We need him badly. And so next summer, the World Cup is in the Philippines. The last time the World Cup was played in 2019, the U.S. finished seventh. They mm. barely got through a valiant effort to win the gold in last year's Olympics. So the next two summers, the World Cup and the Olympics going to be a real competition. Well, we're not talking about one and about Greece or about Germany or about Spain. We're talking about if all of those best players got together and played Team USA. I know. I, it's I'm going to take the world. I'm, I'm going to. I'm going to take the world. Uh, which, why not? Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.